haven't thought about it for a long time. I guess I haven't thought about much of anything recently. I consider it like an old wound, you know? I mean, where's the healing if it just gets reopened? It's something dead and forgotten. Who am I kidding? It's a nightmare and it plagues me and just me. But that's past. No need to punish any of the others, too. <laughs> I'm afraid of something I'm not even sure ever happened. You always thought you were so sure of finding your way. Forgive me for laughing, but that's just the price that you pay. Who walks before you and who is that walking behind? Take off your pity and look at me straight in the mind. Who do you see? You or me? hand of the Savior and died where he bled. Beggars are rich men and kings walk around in disguise. Somebody kills you and somebody gives you a prize. Who can it be? You or me? candles and wish for a thousand more years poets and minstrels are waiting to dry all your tears questions and answers are all much the same in the end sometimes you just have to look up and ask of the wind Can I be you or me? I guess I should start three years ago when the seeds were planted. Baker had just gotten his first electric guitar, and man, he made music so heavy, so real, that he actually lived on it until his so-called manager screwed him out of everything. Baker was hungry for freedom. Three years ago, Andy was playing music, too. Classical music, that is. But that was Andy, very classical. His father owned some company that manufactured toilet plumbing and he was worth millions. But Andy couldn't find meaning in a life that profited every time somebody flushed a toilet, so he left. After all that upbringing, he left. That's when I met him. I taught him to play guitar and he soon played better than anybody I ever heard. Music became Andy's whole life. His family blamed all that on me, though, like I was his hero or something. Anyway, something else happened to me that time, three years ago. Something that was to become the first moment of my nightmare. It was July and I was broke, so I found this job as a guide and driver for a college professor who was looking for an extinct Indian village. He had bore the hell out of me with all kinds of stories about Indian legends, but it was kind of cool because he didn't care about my personal habits, and I didn't care about his.
I'm gonna find something this time, Neil. Yeah, this trip is the one. It's uh, almost 3.30. I'll be back about 6. In the meantime, set up camp. We'll be staying overnight. There are a few drops of pleasure in this sea. Oh, touche, like trained dogs we are. Did you, uh, get that here in Mexico? Yeah. Why? Well, you belong here, in this desert, looking for this village. What? Yes. You see, there's a strong chance that if you, uh, bought that within, oh, let's say a thousand square mile area of here, you're smoking from a plant family that was a way of life to many Indian tribes. This? It's a fact. They call it Minotti, devil weed. <laughs> Some tribes hallucinated themselves to destruction. They... No thanks, I'll stick to my vodka. Maybe this better than fire water. Just build a fire and protect it if it rains, will you?
I found your skeleton. It's pretty strange. We've got to remove it before it rains. Look, we made a deal. You would assist me, and I wouldn't interfere with your pleasures, as long as they didn't interfere with your job. And your pleasures? Don't make it a poor deal, boy. Don't worry your pretty head, Professor. Over here. Help me carry this back to the truck. What's the matter? Amazingly well preserved. And buried on the surface, too. Very, very unnatural. Come on. I want to get going before it rains. Neil? Can you drive all right? What did you see back there? What do you mean? I mean that thing. What is it? It's the skeleton of a Zapote Indian. gone, that is if it ever existed, but something more was lost, Kilkenny's will, after the accident he was a changed man, not speaking at all during our journey back to the Mexican village, I didn't ask any questions, I swore never to share my vision with any others. All right, go ahead and say it, say it's the kind of wild story you'd expect to hear from someone whose mind is gone making up the whole thing and playing with your senses. Well, you came to me, and it's no strain if you want to split right now, because to tell you the truth, I'd just soon not talk about it. Okay. It's real, all right. It's too real. But what's real? What's real? I gave up all dope after that for three years. I had to. I had to blame it on something. Yeah. What's that tell you about me now? Maybe my story really began last June when Baker and I joined an existing rock band. It was frustrating because they were good, but stubborn as hell. I would be falling. I would be free. And I'd be gone now for a day.
Well, there, there is something. There's something there, but, but you lack polish. A, a lot of it. Yeah, we know that, but... But nothing. The competition is damn tough today. If you guys don't understand that, I don't know what to tell you. All I can say is, go out and pull yourselves together and come back and see me in, oh, six, eight months, and I'll give you another listen. What about some of your smaller bars? Couldn't we play there? Look, the man said he's not interested. Let's get the hell out of here. I don't like this one's attitude. I don't give a damn. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He, he didn't mean it, really. Uh... All right. All right. Straighten that one out, and I'll... I'll put you in a little bar in Reseda for, uh, $300 for six nights. Out of sight. Okay. A little bar in Reseda. No, oh, man, what a drag. He's been having bad dreams every night now. And he won't tell me what's the matter. Andy? Andy? Mm. What? Mm. Mm. Neil? What's the matter? I don't know. I... I'll get some coffee. Hey, that's some dreaming you do. Yeah. Hey, how's Baker? The group? Well, everything's changed again. Yeah? Baker back to Liz guitar? Something like that. Baker and I split the group. Oh, no. Or they split us. Either way, that makes four bands for me now. Here's your coffee. Yeah. Oh, Neil, I'm sorry. Would you like some? No, no thanks. Uh, hey, Andy, you still going to San Francisco to play for your brother? Well, not for John. For one of his fraternity brothers. It could be really exciting. Hey, come outside. I got a new bike. Come on. I told you about the audition, didn't I? The guy puts on summer concerts for colleges. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. But you're still going, huh? Yeah, of course. What do you think? Out of sight. Listen, Andy, how about joining Baker and me? I mean, form our own group. We should have done it a long time ago. Oh, you're kidding. No, I'm not. Listen, we could put down something really different. Some fine music. Instead of going to Frisco as a solo, you'll be a trio, man. But me and you and Neil, man, uh, we know. Like I said, I feel good. 
Where'd you meet Neil? Oh, we were playing together in a little place in uh, Greenwich Village. Uh, you ever been there? Oh, man, you should have seen us. I only joined him because, well, he could play guitar better than I could, and I didn't want to miss out on the free meals. Why didn't Neil give up the guitar? He played so good. I don't know. He was pretty strung out, you know. Went down to Mexico. I didn't see him for about seven or eight months. And then, wow. What happened? I don't know that either. But he called me out of the blue, man. Said, are you in the band? I said, no, we started in again. Only it wasn't the same. Mm -mm. Said he was clean. No more dope. Said he had freaked out on the trip so bad one time, man, that he's had nightmares ever since. No guitar either. Just a harp. And he was really out to make it. I mean, really make it. He pushes hard, but it's, it's good. I think Neil could ask me to follow him anywhere and I'd go. We're a lot alike. I have nightmares, too. San Francisco. For long? Maybe I won't come back. I've got to. You see, don't you? I mean to play with Neil and Baker? I have to. Sure. It's cool. You know, it's more, don't you? I just haven't felt free lately, and I don't know what it is. Like I'm haunted. Say you understand. That's important. Yeah, Andy. I know. Maybe, maybe I can come with you. I won't be any problem. We promised, didn't we? You'll be better off. We'll both be. Whatever's here, you'll find more someplace else. Don't write or anything, okay? Just surprise me if you come around.
John said to meet you at this address. Told another guy the same thing about an hour ago. Thanks. Nice. Hey, you guys know how to get there? Yeah, thanks again. the man said. Haunted is more like it. This place is a museum. The price is right, my friend. The price is right. Hey, where are the keys? I want to go inside. Oh, John gave them to uh, Andy. Hey, Andy! Andy! What are you doing with that dude? Andy! Got the keys? Hey! Hey, what's the matter? Oh, man, you look strange, man. I've been here before. Haven't we all? No, I have. I know I have. Something happened here. What is it, damn it? Why? Why do I know this place? It happens. What do they call it? Uh, it happens. Don't ask why. Just groove along with it. Now, where's the keys? I dreamt that that's where it was. I dreamt I was here. I think it was me. I'm starting to remember my dreams. Hallelujah. No, but something bad happened. I remember that. Hey, let's go inside. I've got this, this black hash. You think you've been everywhere. I'll stay here. Okay, I'll call you for Christmas. Hey, I, I remember, I, I saw the devil here. She was here. I dreamt it. <laughs> How could she be here when I left her at my house, huh? <laughs> What do you think? What do you mean? Andy, you know, what do you think? It's a long drive up here. He's probably just tired. Let it pass. You don't have to be sleeping to dream. Yeah, maybe it's the weather.
There's a great forest over there. It's really peaceful. Uh, are you okay now? What do you mean? Hey, let's take a look at this place. You loaded. You coming, Andy? I lived here before? Some old hermit. What is it? Cat was ahead. This is grass, man. You're kidding. Hey, let me see that. Uh, I wouldn't touch it. Had some real strange stuff once. Mm. I stick to my own. That's all yours. Hey, let's go get our gear. Mm. What more could a man ask for? Beautiful country style living, <laughs> running water, one outhouse, and now dope. I may retire here. If they see you in town, you may have to. The end of a rope. <laughs> just had a nightmare. Wow. I was dreaming about my last chick. Oh, man. Talk about bad dream. Oh, man. What a turkey. <laughs> the way you woke up, maybe you were, too. didn't hurt. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. What's to laugh at? The more you live, the more you see. And the more you see, the more there is to be afraid of. Think about being normal. That's the most frightening thing of all. I don't think I have to.
you going? Town. We need some things. You want to come? Sure. You coming too? Why don't you bring back some women? What do you think I'm going for? You know, I'm worried about Andy. Yeah, me too. Yeah, something's wrong. I mean, I hate to see it. We're up here, free as the cat's pajamas, gonna be the best damn band in the concert, things are jiving, why is he so down? Maybe he's nervous of Mrs. Denise. Or maybe too much dope. Nah, you think so? Well, I guess you know. I think he's shy. Oh, Neil, could you come on? He's wanted for rape in six states. They really love you here, don't they? Oh, uh, yes, I'm the honorary mayor. Uh, well, we gotta go. Uh, we're over 24 hours. I'll bet you are. Bye. Come on, Baker. in our garden, huh? It almost died. Hey, you met two fine chicks in town, eh? Yeah? Yeah. You feeling okay? Of course I'm feeling okay. It's just asking. Well, don't ask. Hey, you got a letter. That's from John. Oh, maybe that uh, Contra cat's in town. No. He says he wants to talk to us about an audition. He says that we should get in touch with him right away. Well, I get my toothbrush in. Does he say why? No, just that it's important. We'll go tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, maybe I better stay here. If your brother sees too much of me, he may change his mind. Hey, uh, maybe you got us a tour of all the best whorehouses. Stuff, man. I run out of mine. Besides, it's it's not that bad. Well, uh, <clears throat> try this. This is uh, better. No account for taste. Enough. Let's practice. See, I told you you push us hard.
coming, Andy? Okay, what do you want to start with? Andy, what do you want to play? Anything. Play anything. Okay, let's start with the D minor riff. Yeah, right. And one, and two, and three. Come on, Andy, you can't be that stoned. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about something else. All right, let's try it again. One, two, three, and... Oh, man, what is wrong with you? Guess you were right, he can't handle stuff. I'll go talk to him. You're okay. Neil, what is it? You know what it is, don't you? I got so... I never knew when I was me. When real was real. I lost my identity. I lost it and there was no place to come back to. I didn't even have a memory. Think of it. It's like... Not living at all. But Neil, the nightmares. The nightmares. That night, we had the same... No. No, I know what you're thinking, Andy, and I'll never admit it. You just did. Look at you. For God's sake, Andy, look at you. I'm getting closer to it. Closer to me. And you can help me understand. I've got to find out what's happening. No, no, it's not happening. Oh, yes, it is. I know that now. And you can help me see what it is. I trust you. Don't. Don't trust me. Andy, three years ago, I saw something I never want to see again. I saw a warning. Something was telling me to stop. Now every night I relive it. Only I've become the warning. And so we had the same dream. I knew it. But I just didn't understand. We can help each other. No more dope, okay? And I thought you understood. I've never been here before. 
everybody was afraid of Mr. Christie. He, he was always so strange. I used to go to San Francisco a lot, but there were too many people, you know? Too many games to play. I, I could have gone to school back east in Boston, but I don't know. I, I didn't want to leave all this yet. This is a very confusing time in my life. Hey, stop being so serious. Enjoy what there is to enjoy while there's still time. You're very gentle. Yeah, I'm older. <laughs> it must be fascinating to be a musician. It hurts, too. Frustration? You, you mean it's hard to make it? Acceptance is part of it, but it also hurts when you want to say something. Something with your music and you can't. You know what I mean? Your own limitations are painful. I think it would be exciting, and I, I bet you're great. Do you have any grass? No, I don't smoke. You're kidding. Why? I better go. Can I come back? If you like. Would you like? Great, man. I was playing for all those people. Audition may be better than the concert, man. Yeah, as much as I hate rock promoters, it's a pretty good deal. Help keep us loose, too. <sighs> loose? Loose ain't the word for it. There's gonna be bikes and chicks and wine. <sighs> Might book the whole thing as a circus. Oh, his brother gave him a little lip about his life, man. You know, you got no great fan in John Sellers. Yeah, I know. Yeah, said he wants to talk to you about something. What about? I don't know. About the audition, man. John said there's gonna be five groups there. <laughs> Think about it. I am thinking about it. So what's with you? You're flipping out again. Give him time, man. Give him time. I told him. Stop worrying. I'll go. I said I'll go. Just stepped over here. He's all right. Now look, damn it! You can do anything you want to to yourself, I don't give a damn. But when it affects us, I don't like it. I've been through four bands. Four, you understand? I don't want you to screw me out of this one. Do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Now let go. I see you turn on one more time before that audition and...
right, you know. Not you, too. We're only looking out for you, man. You've been acting pretty strange, you know. All he worries about is losing us. He's afraid like an old lady. He's no more afraid than I am. Listen! What do you want to blow it? Subbers. Six nights in a row, huh? Uh-huh. How'd you find me? I found you. What do you want? Is this a friend of yours? I'll see you inside, Mike, huh? Sure. <laughs> you know damn well what I want. I saw my brother today. So? So? So what do you got him jacked up on, huh? You're the expert. Look, whatever Andy does is on him, man, not me. I'm just after his music. I don't believe you, man. You know that? I couldn't care less what you believe. You take guys like Andy. You take him and you offer him rainbows. I don't take anybody. Andy can split any time he wants to, but he doesn't want. He'll never go back, and that's what you can't stand. Well, how the hell can he? You built a prison around him with your drugs and your phony promises. So what happens? What happens one day when he wakes up and he's over 30 like you? And he's burnt out and he's strung out. And you, you're, you're gone. You've robbed him of his music, because that's all you want, you say. Then you've split. Tell me, what happens? I still want to talk to you. Hey, man, you've said it all. I'm not coming back. Just sit through this class with me, and we'll talk after. Sorry, I'm not going to school. It's only an hour. No. have a 15-minute quiz. Um, you may consult your notes. Sir, you've just wet our appetites with your story. You can't end it that abruptly. You know me too well. <laughs> but I still don't understand what's so special about this skeleton. I'd like to hear a little bit more about it. Yeah. 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 Well, I... Uh... I've made several trips back since. None were successful. The answers to your questions, the answers to my questions must be conjecture. A man witnesses things in his lifetime. He has made the best possible use of his faculties to allow life to be chronicled in his brain, both for his own emotional composure and for his presence in society. After all, that is the way he's remembered when he dies. I witnessed something three years ago that changed my life, something so fantastic that it could conceivably change all our lives. The old guy's going all out this year. Yet now, in retrospect, when time and pressure have attacked my memory, I can't be sure that I ever did see that skeleton. You see, we all struggle through ourselves to rise above the patterns which border our existence. Uh, we can't, but we try. Uh, soon, uh, a man must submit to what he has been told to be factual rather than what he thinks to be. He must. He cannot resist. There has to be an equilibrium. The only thing left to the man is doubt. And that doubt kept me alive to continue the fight for my memories, my fight, mine. How can anyone else share an incubus that perhaps doesn't exist? 
Sir, are you trying to say that uh, well, maybe you never really did find any trace of the Zapotes? Mr. Lothridge, I know that I am regarded as a drunken crackpot by students and my contemporaries. A man, they say, tired, desperate. I saw a body. I saw it at that moment of my life. And maybe this mystery existed for only that moment, for only those circumstances, for only me. Who's to say, Mr. Lothridge, who's to say? But, Dr. Kilkenny, if you feel that way about it, I mean, starting to doubt and all, who will continue to search for the rest of the facts? You feel sorry for me, don't you? Well, no, sir, I... Yes, you would like to see further discoveries made for me rather than for science. Well, I appreciate that, Miss Thorson, I really, I really appreciate that, but there are no other facts. Therefore, there is no further need to search. The only continuation of this episode will exist in our minds. A man must, must be able to accept his mistakes, his illusions, his secrets. I will always have my secrets. That's all for today. I saw something, I know it. You saw what I did. Why in hell didn't you tell me, man? I've been going crazy. I saw a skeleton. That is, if I saw anything. Hey, I was there. Now, what happened? You're not sure, are you? I was drinking and you were smoking that drug and you're not sure. Well, I'll set you straight. You were irrational. You were suffering from hallucinations. I don't believe you. You've got to tell me. You saw that face. No! I've got to go.
You won't stay, will you? What? Oh, nothing. Just trying to be wise. Mm -hmm. Those eyes. I, I never know what you're thinking. Don't try. But... But I've never met anyone who... Oh, I could be real corny right now. Please don't think I'm pinning you down or anything, but... What? Neil, I'm trying to tell you that I care. A lot. I don't worry when I see you. You don't have to say anything. I just wanted you to know. I'm afraid you won't be around too long. Janice, what do I say? You're something very peaceful for me. I like that. I haven't known too many peaceful moments lately. There's so much I want to tell you. Maybe just to hear what they sound like when I say them. Things that maybe aren't even happening. Try some of this, Andy? No, oh, no thanks. Where's Neil? Want some coffee, Neil? Thanks. Or our concert. Thanks a lot. I don't know what you're talking about. He didn't like us. Didn't like some of the music. Damn it. He didn't say all he said so. Some was good and uh, some was bad. He said, uh, he said what all those chumps say. Damn, we were good. You were. You were great. Will he listen to you again? I don't know. Come on, it's not the end. It's not the end. Sure. He'll like you next time. Sure. Sure.
Neil? Get away from me, Jack. Please, I said, get away. Andy! Because you don't understand. But you will. No, Andy, really. You're weird. Susan, it won't hurt you. What are you talking about? Let me take you with me. There's nothing to be afraid of. I know that now. <laughs> Let's go back to the cabin where it's warm. No. It's all over. Come watch. <laughs>
they go in. Andy? I go back there when I can. I guess the others do too, I don't know. I told him he fell and cut his head on a broken bottle. I don't know. Maybe that's all that did happen. He went a little crazy and he fell. They all wanted to believe that, so I guess I did too. I never asked myself what took place in the forest that night. I couldn't answer that question anyway. I never looked at Andy's body. The police got into the act. Another hippie OD'd from drugs. Someone else died that summer. Professor Kilkenny committed suicide. He took it all to the grave. He was right. He would always have his secrets. And that's where they belong. In the grave. Programs and projects of economic and human value for the nations involved. Two more bodies were found in the Indio Desert area today. Their heads mutilated. Sheriff's deputies are investigating and searching for clues that might possibly link these two deaths with the two bodies discovered near the Lake Tahoe area last Thursday. Authorities have still not ruled out the possibility of attack by wild animals, although one source feels this unlikely. We're trying to arrange a telephone interview. Hello, where are you coming from? Oh, I guess you might say the mountains just north of Las Vegas. Carrying any fruit or vegetables? No, no. Just some wildflowers in the trunk. May I see them, please? Sure. Botany is a hobby of mine. I find it very relaxing. In fact, I even have my own greenhouse. Okay, they look all right. Tell me, how can a plant look anything else but all right? <laughs> 